Hi, I'm Nari Dansari and in this video I'm gonna show you GUI stuff. Of course, we did some video about GUI, some dialogue, some menu that you can watch my videos about that. But I wanna create a video series, a playlist of videos that we only talk about GUIs in draw GUI. Okay, so without any further ado, let's begin. You can see I have some element in here that is in my itch.io, you can buy it of course. And I want to show you how you can implement all of these buttons for playing a campaign, playing uh, this kind of stuff, give a start to player, um, how many gems they collect, new game and options mute the sound and after that go to this one and have some other gui stuff that we can use it for our shop in our game so for that i'm gonna add it to our platformer game that we have worked on so you know if you if you were following my videos you know that all of my videos is all about how you can write code properly to be more readable and be easy to develop okay so in here you can see that I add some things in here like this gem in here that player can collect this menu background that we can put item in it so they can buy we have this setting icon in here so when they click on it they open up setting and our game pause and they can change the options in our game and after that this gem comes so how many gem they collect it will show it in here okay so first thing to do let's just create an object for this gem i did call it str gem and the anchor point is at the middle center it doesn't matter where you put the anchor point of course in a few minutes i will show you when and where you can use the anchor point properly to make your life easier so let's just create an object i want to create object in control and then you can see that everything that control our game like obg mask obg obstacle obg button is in control so in here let's just create another object i want to call it obg gy and i want all the gy to be in here and you guessed it we will use a state machine for this one as well because the state machine make our life very much easier make our code very readable and easy to develop now that we have this obg gui let's just create another object in this environment for example for our object gem okay so let's just give it an sprite because our player want to collect these gems right so let's just add it in here and in here what i want to do i just want to add a collision event of the player and this gem okay so whenever the player collide with this gem it will destroy the gem first this instance destroy and it should add to player gems the, the gems that player collect right so for that i want to go to object player in create event of that i want to create another struct in here and i want to call it player data and this player data is for all of those things that you want to save so whenever they close their game and open up this player data will be load up and when they collect a gem or buy something all of them will be saved in, in this player data okay so at this moment I, I just want to create a variable for gem count how many gem they have at the beginning it's zero right so in my load and save function video i did talk about save and loading if you put zero in here and after that loaded from a file it will be okay and all the progress that player is made will be loaded okay so the player data and we have a variable in it in, in it for gem count how many gem they collect okay so now let's just go back to obg gem and one another thing that i want to do in here i want to make this variable this strike to be global so we can access it everywhere right so know that we have this every time that player collide with the, with the gem it should add to global dot player data dot gem count and we want to add one to it okay we can do it like this but we can do it like this as well plus equal one okay and if you want to add two you can do it this way okay uh, at most cases uh, when i want to increase something just by one i use plus plus not plus equal one okay but it will work like this know that this is finished let's just go to our object gui okay so let's just close everything everything is okay with collecting gems in here what i want to add first is a draw gui okay what i want to show you is how to draw this 
a score in our game and show our score to the player the score uh, the amount of gems that the player collect right so you can see i put the anchor point at the top left but we can change this like, anchor point to something like here the reason that i want to put the anchor point in here because i want to draw our text from this point and it will be much easier to do do it this way okay so we use anchor point to draw our text at the right location the location that we want right so the anchor point in here is good so first thing to do in here i want to say draw a sprite the sprite that i want to draw is spr score vg the sub image i want it to be zero because it just have one sub image right the x and y so if i put zero and zero in here let us see what will happen if we do it like this before we run it we should go to our room and add this obg gui to our instance layer for example okay of course we can create another layer for just the the object that doesn't show anything doesn't have any sprite but let's just do this in instance layer okay so now that we have this let's just run our game to see what will happen if we go new game and you can see it will draw it at the anchor point where we don't want to do that right so what i always do i give a something like um a margin to our draw so for example in here i want to put 100 for x and let's say 50 for y to see if it's working for us or not it has a good spot right so I, I think that's good enough positioning for us okay so after that if we say draw x and we give it the x and y that we set in here 150 and we give it the text of the global dot player data dot gym count okay so now it should show this thing at the right location right and you can see that our text is not correctly at the right location so why is that because we didn't align our text so for that we can say draw set vertical align to be fr center okay and for draw set horizontal align to fr left now let's just run it so no it has a good position but again we should change it i want to change it in here by opening this sprbg i want to bring it down a little bit to position it like this new game it's a little bit better so let's just bring it down a little bit and i think that's a good spot to show our gem collection now let's just add some gem to our game in here so let's just put it put one in here another one in here and another one in here so let's just run our game to see if it's working or not and yeah it's working to three and you can see it our gem count is working at the next video i'm going to talk about this option so whenever they click on it it will open up a dialogue that they can set the options for our game and in that video we're going to talk about checking most of them on, on certain area like this button in here okay you can see that i'm not doing a lot of stuff and most of you knew how to do this right but i'm taking my time to explain to you every detail every tools that game maker has to make your life easier to design a gui because designing gui is it's frustrating in game maker and that's why i'm taking my time to explain to you a step by step how you can design your gui you can see in here i didn't do much right so in the next video i'm gonna talk about that state machine that you should have for your gui it very much make your life easier to design a gui and it make it reusable in other projects as well please if you want me to continue this kind of video for gui hit that like button so i know that you like this kind of videos thank you very much for watching bye